name is Sarah. I'm coming to you from Muhlenberg College. Currently I'm sitting on the main lawn and this is pretty much the center of campus. And as you can see behind me, there's the bell tower and Victor's Lament. So I'll be showing you around Muhlenberg and telling you all the ins and outs of the college and hopefully one day you'll come here. Hey guys, I'm here with my best friend Derek. He's super cool. He's in the music department, which is where we're standing in front of, which is the CA, which is home to theater, music, visual arts, and dance. Derek wants to say hi. Hey guys, what's up? That's all he usually says, he doesn't say much. Hi. Okay, so theater is our biggest major here. Um, most people are in, or theater majors here. Our biggest majors are theater and biology. Um, I'll try to get you into new side. Um, we'll see the timing, but it should be fine. So usually on a regular tour, when you come to the CA, you usually just go in this part. But I'm gonna take you down into the fishbowl, um, and we're gonna go see what's going on in there. Usually there's a lot of rehearsals going on in there. Um, that's down there's the box office where you get tickets. Um, if you're a theater major, you probably go down there to audition. Um, fun fact about the, uh, about the fishbowl: it used to be clear, the windows, but then birds. So they had to make it this beautiful shade of blue again. So some fun facts about Muhlenberg for you. So we're gonna go ahead inside. Hey guys, welcome to the inside of the CA. Um, I'm gonna be taking you down to the fishbowl and the box office so you can see those. And I'm gonna speed up walking because I'm injured. It takes me a while to go places. Um, a lot of stuff happens here in the beginning of the year. There are auditions downstairs for the Red Doors. Um, a lot of time there's people always rehearsing, so you'll be walking on the sidewalk outside and see like dance rehearsals or uh, Red Door rehearsals, which I'll explain later. Um, Thomas is going to come in and explain all the theater department ins and outs. So now we're going to go downstairs to the box office. We're going to go look at that. Welcome to the box office. Um, you see over there you can buy tickets. There's a dance studio behind me. And here is the black box theater, which we're gonna go to try to sneak into. So we recently just finished a show. Um, right now it looks like they're cleaning up for it. There's always shows happening here, so they're probably just getting ready for the next one. Okay, so I'm in New Psy right now. This is the home to all of the science departments. I'm not personally in science, so I don't know a lot about them. I know biology is our second biggest major. Um, so I'm here just to show you one of the typical lab classrooms. Um, it's actually locked right now just for safety purposes, but we're gonna look in the window anyways. Yes, very scientific. I'm also going to show you something that probably most schools won't have. Um, this is the polar bear. Um, he's kind of random. We're not completely sure why he's here. And we think there might be two of them, but we're not sure. So I'm sitting here in one of the campus's only stadium style classrooms. Um, the reason for this is there aren't a lot of really big classes. This is even a pretty small classroom compared to a lot of bigger schools. There is one other stadium style classroom and that is in Trumbauer, which is two buildings over and that's the science department. And usually you won't be in these kinds of classrooms unless you are a business major or a science major just because those gen eds can get pretty big. But other than that, most classes are pretty small. My biggest one right now is about 25, maybe 30. So, you know, you definitely get a lot of individual attention. Um, professors are very easygoing and very willing to talk to you and help you understand things. They have open office hours and um, it's really nice to be able to have like a nice close relationship with a professor that you're able to ask questions and go see them after class. So, so I'm here in the cardio vault in the life 
Sports Center, and this is actually the upstairs of the gym, and they don't take you to this on tour, so I'm going to show it to you. I spend a lot of time up here. Um, we've got so many different types of equipment. You can do abs, and there's machines over there. Um, so downstairs is weightlifting. It kind of scares me. <laughs> um, it's mostly used by the athletes here, um, but they can't technically rent it out, so if you are comfortable doing that, you can go down anytime you want and do that. Uh, we also have the field house, which is in here, which we're gonna pan into, try and get in as close as we can. So that's kind of the same deal. Sports teams use it, but they can't actually, you know, just rent it out. Um, so you are welcome to use it whenever we want. We also have a um, basketball court and a pool, which I personally love, and I use that a lot. It's super great, and it's big. I think it's eight lanes. Um, so that's definitely one of my favorite ways to work out here. Hey guys, welcome to the dining hall. As you can see, it's super pretty. It looks like a ski lodge, so I'm a skier. It makes me happy. Um, there's, on top of being beautiful, there's so much good food here. We're number one in Pennsylvania for food, and I know we're in the top 20 in the country for food, so a lot of good stuff going on here with food. Um, so many, we have so many different stations, and the staff is super nice, very accommodating for any need that you might have. So we're going to go into the room with all the stations, and I'm going to show you some dining hall hacks. First dining hall hack we're going to do is a root beer float. So, what you do, you go to the ice cream machine, you take a cup, you get some ice cream. Yeah, look at, looking good, looking good. Then we're going to go to the drink station, we're going to get some root beer. And that is our first dining hall hack. Second dining hall hack, I'm not going to do all the way because I don't want to waste plates and these people are here too nice. So what I do is I usually take bowls from next to the rice station. <laughs> so I take two bowls, I put my salad in one, and then I take one from the top, and then you can just mix it like that, and it makes no mess. Um, yeah, I'm a pretty messy salad eater. Uh, it's pretty useful. Third dining hall hack. Okay, so it looks like other people already took my idea. As you can see, there's no more cookies. I told you, they're really good. So I usually take two cookies, and then you put ice cream in the middle, and then you put them together, and then you have an ice cream sandwich. Super good. Hey, so we're walking here on Academic Row. This is where all of the academic buildings are. Um, we're really lucky. I, I chose a pretty nice day to film. Um, in the winter, it's really pretty cloudy here. Um, this, this winter's been pretty mild. We haven't really gotten a big snowstorm yet. Um, as a skier, I don't really like that, but some people do. Um, so in front of, this is Hawes, the Bell Tower. This is probably my favorite building on campus. I don't really go in it a ton. I am a tour guide, so I do come in here, but it's not really somewhere I go every day because there's not academic buildings in it. But you can see the bell tower from pretty much anywhere on campus. And every hour on the hour, the bell rings. And at 12 o'clock and six o'clock, it plays the alma mater, which is really nice. Um, and they just recently fixed it up, so it's looking pretty good.